Hello everyone. In this INIR number 68, we are going to discuss about measles, one of the very important topic for exams. Measles or rubeola, also known as first disease, caused by RNA paramyxovirus. Remember, so it is caused by RNA paramyxovirus and incubation period will be from 10 to 14 days, right? So that is the incubation period where you will see fever happens on the 10th day. Coplic spot you will notice on 12th day. Rashes will be seen on 14th day, right? So fever 10, coplic 12, rashes on 14th days, right? And how will be the transmission? Inhalation of respiratory droplets. So you can see these are the respiratory droplets and this inhalation is the reason for the measles. So it can, it can happen by breathing, talking, coughing and sneezing, right? And what is the communicability time? See, here you have to remember rashes. So four days before the rash, and four days after the rash, there will be more communicabilities, right? And in this case, there will be no carrier. Secondary attack rate will be very high, which is approximately 90%. Remember, this is important MCQ also, right? What will be the prodromal symptoms which will be seen in the measles? They will be having fever, cough, coriza. Coriza means nasal discharge or running nose or and conjunctivitis, right? So these are the things, right? So we can see that patient will be having fever then they will be having red blotchy rash which will first appear on the forehead then you will see rash will be spreading throughout the body right eyes will be showing you conjunctivitis nose they will be having running nose or you can also call this as a coriza and hack cough will be there and in the mouth you will notice there will be coplic spots so coplic spot will be present in the mouth you can see there is a reddish area and whitish spot so this whitish spot against the background of red is called as coplic spot so white spot on a red base opposite to the lower second molar in buccal mucosa that is the coplic spot right and remember this coplic spot is pathognomonic of measles right so these are one to two millimeter white spots on the red base opposite to the lower second molar of the buccal mucosa and what are the complications so we will have two important complications respiratory and neurological so respiratory complication otitis media is the most common complication right they can have atypical pneumonia called as heads pneumonia right <coughs> this atypical pneumonia they may have a giant cell that is why it is called as giant cell pneumonia because they are having warthin finkeldi giant cell so what is warthin finkeldi giant cell you can see here right this is warthin finkeldi giant cell this is the pneumonia and this is the lung specimen and you are seeing two warthin finkeldi giant cell within the alveoli so these are multinucleated giant cell where you can see eosinophilic viral inclusion in the cytoplasm also and inside the nucleus also so is you are seeing eosinophilic viral inclusion where in the nucleus also and in the cytoplasm also right so that is warthin finkeldi giant cell so this is very important mcq warthin finkeldi giant cells are seen in measles right and most common cause of death in this patient will be pneumonia because of this pneumonia the patient this patient may die also right what are the neurological complications they will have meningitis encephalitis and very important subacute sclerosing panencephalitis so this was the question in exam subacute sclerosing panencephalitis is a complication of brain in the measles right so this is the reference of 21st edition of the harrison where i have read this so it is a slowly progressive disease and they will be characterized by seizure and progressive deterioration of the cognitive and motor function and in this patient, usually you will see the death will happen after 5 to 15 years from the measles virus infection. So you can say incubation period for or this timing to develop this SSP after the infection will be 5 to 15 years. Right. So SSP, this is the line which I, I loved in the Harrison and I anticipate this can be the future question. SSP is most often seen in those, uh, you know. Uh, cases where measles virus is happening or measles virus is infecting less than two years of the age remember so these are mostly those patients who will be contracting measles at less than two years of the age this line of harrison is very very important for future exam point of view right and how we are going to give the diagnosis so diagnosis by serology what we will measure we will measure the igm antibodies or isolation of the virus in cell culture from the respiratory secretion from the nasopharyngeal or conjunctival swab blood or urine so all these specimens we will use 
to isolate the virus in the cell culture. On histopathology, already I have shown you Warthin Finkelty giant cell, and to see the RNA virus, we have to use reverse transcriptase PCR because these are RNA virus, right? So, what should be the See, uh, again I repeat that CDC has a definition for measles which is given in Harrison on this page number. So what is the CDC definition? Case definition for measles can be a future question because there are three points. It requires generalized maculopapular rash for at least three days duration. This is one criteria. Second criteria is fever for at least 38.3 degrees Celsius or 101 degree Fahrenheit. And third is cough, coryza or conjunctivitis. So these are the case definition for the measles given by CDC given in our Harrison textbook. And what should be the treatment? Treatment, primary treatment method is, see, we have to isolate the patient. And there are no antiviral, uh, uh, you know, drug for these cases. So mostly these are symptomatic treatments. So you have to control the fever. You have to maintain the hydration. You have to prevent the infection by giving antibiotics. And in this patient, vitamin A prophylaxis will play a very crucial role because vitamin A prophylaxis will reduce morbidity and mortality in measles patient, especially those patients who are having malnourished, you know, malnourishment, right? And what is the mode of prevention? Prevention can be done by vaccine or or measles immunoglobulin so what vaccine we use for measles that is the exam question admonstin jagrip stain right so this vaccine we are using for measles and what is the side effect of measles vaccine that was the question so side effect of measles vaccine can be thrombocytopenia remember this is one important mcq right so these are important point about the measles so keep revising this topic you may get some question in your uh, in your need pg or fmg exam also my best wishes to all of you for success